Press and welcome back. Y'all are here for Let's Get Crafting. So how is everybody doing tonight? Hello, Miss Liz and Nancy. Welcome in. How are y'all? So y'all finally decided, uh, I guess last night or night before, that we're going to do paint by number. I know I asked on my live the other night what y'all wanted to see, and paint by number was one of the choices. Hey, Steve. So we are going to get to work on this right y'all in a little bit but first this hat is the adult snow day beanie i've been working i've made several of these today um i did this one in the variegated i've made some in solid because i wanted to see how the stitch definition would look in the different uh yarns and I've also, I did one where I broke up the sedge stitch and put the moss stitch in the middle. But I think for ease, and so that it looks like the one that I made for the baby, um, I'm just going to keep them all this way. And then if you want this part longer, we'll learn that on Thursday. So everybody is saying hello to each other and welcoming each other in. That's so nice. So let's go pick the stitch for March and see what stitch we're going to add to. We got the moss stitch up here and we got the sedge stitch here. So let's go pick our stitch and see what stitch we're going to get for March. So let me share my screen. Actually, let me do this before I forget because I always forget to do this. Let me go here. Let's see. I think it is this button. And then this button. And I'm going to gift five memberships to my channel right now because I forgot to do that the other day. So let's see who has gotten it. Great Lakes Diane, Jen Reeves, Debbie Graybert, Flower Tammy, and Pfizer Fiber Floozy Crafts. Congratulations. Y'all were just gifted a membership to my channel by Mr. YouTube or Miss YouTube. The YouTube land selects who does that. I don't get to pick that. Hi, Jenny. Welcome in. I don't get to pick who uh, gets the memberships. Uh, YouTube does that for me. So congratulations. And this is for y'all. First, let me find where I moved it to. Right here. <laughs> Angel, if you are watching, I'm going to play this for you because when I logged in earlier today to make a change or to, um, I was playing, no, maybe it was last night. Anyway, I was using it to look at uh, a design and it said you became a member. So I'm going to play that a second time for you. Now I will go share my screen and let's pick the stitch for um, March. Pick the stitch, share. Cruise back over, make sure to share it. And it is. Welcome in, Miss Angela. She's saying hello to everybody. She is drinking water and working on a cowl. Nice. All right. So let's go right here and let's pick our stitch. And the stitch for March is dun, 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 half double crochet. Let me write that down. Find my pen. So March's stitch is the half double. I already know that one, so yay. And well, actually, I should say I already have a tutorial for that one. So. I will come up with something else to share as far as a tutorial goes. All right. Good deal. All right. So let's remove that stitch. Go back over here. Hit stop. Share. All right. So March is the half double. Woohoo! <laughs> Nancy said the half double was her favorite stitch before learning the sedge stitch. And y'all, um, Thursday night on my live, somebody was asking me the difference or asked me if I'd ever done the blanket stitch. And I have, but I wanted to make sure that I knew 
make sure my brain was was uh, remembering the correct stitch. And it was. So the difference between the sedge stitch and the blanket stitch, the sedge stitch uses a single half, half double, and then a double all into the same stitch. The blanket stitch does a single and then two doubles into the same stitch. That's the only difference that I could see. The multiples are the same. Um, the only difference is it does not. The blanket stitch does not have the half double. It does two doubles instead. Hey, Rudy, welcome in. All right, so let me switch to Rosie, my camera here. Settings. That way y'all can see what we're going to be working on. And there we go. I'm going to come over here to the other other desk here. Hey, Dawn. Welcome in. So, Dawn, I don't know if you were here. We just picked the stitch for March, and it's going to be the half double. Let's see. Let's scoot me this way a little. All right. So, that's my little welcome sign that we made the other night. If y'all want to learn how to do this technique um, of doing the gingham, uh, we did that on our Crafty Ladies Live last week. Okie doke. So now this kit came from One Day Savings. I do have a link in the description box for them. This particular kit is no longer available. However, they do have lots of other kits that are paint by number. Now, um, this one is a Nutcracker, and they do have the Nutcracker in a diamond painting kit. So if you like diamond painting and you like the Nutcracker, you can get it from them. Now, a lot of the kits come with the canvas rolled and not on a cardboard or a stretched canvas. I picked this up. This is just a heavy-duty canvas on the uh, cardboard or a board. Hey, Angel. Hello, Crafting. She said that. Crafting with Gringas. That sign is so cute. Thank you. And Angel, I played, if you were not here, I played a video for you. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the Hive. So this is what we're going to be working on. It is a Nutcracker paint by number. I figure if I start it now, maybe, just maybe, I'll have it done by Christmas. And I'm going to be using these craft kit, craft clamps that I picked up at Dollar Tree to clamp it down to this uh, canvas. Now this canvas is an 11 by 14. And you can also get the 8 by 10 that are, is the stretched canvas that's already on a, um, on a frame. But I'm going to be using this one. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's just clamp you down. I'm going to fold this back just a little bit. No, I'm not. We're going to do it like this. Maybe. This goes. And then we're going to get to painting and chit-chatting and catching up and seeing what everybody's been up to. Welcome back. Liz says she's back. She was cleaning. All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, it's, a, it's the, another paint by number on paper. Oh, I wonder if I could do this with, um, I might do this one in Magic Marker. It probably won't cover up the uh, numbers very well but it would still be fun okay sorry y'all distracted squirrel <clears throat> make this a little straighter so how is, has everybody's weekend been going it has been raining buckets here in Tennessee where I am but, you know, I'll take that over freezing rain. It's been warm, so it hasn't been icy or anything like that. Although my friend told me last night that we're supposed to get another winter storm. And I'm like, well, if I get a snow day, I guess it's okay. But I'm kind of ready for spring. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to fold this over. 
like this and clamp it down again on the back side here. And again, these little clips are handy dandy. I got them at Dollar Tree. You could probably find similar items at Walmart. Hold this over here. All right. I think we're ready. Now over here to the side where y'all cannot see is a grid. Is a color grid. And it tells me what all the numbers and what color they should be. But there are also numbers on the paint which do not correlate with well that's kind of sucky hold on okay they don't they don't have them numbered one two three four five six they've got them numbered with the actual paint number that's okay like that. i bet that's what these stickers right here were for oh yay okay well let's do that first To make this easier on myself so I do not paint the wrong color on the wrong thing. Okay, so 0089 is number one. Oh, check it out. They got them in order. Yay. Or right now they look in order. And I did dump these out, so if they're not in order, it's probably because I did that. I wondered what these little stickers were for when I opened up the kit, and now I know. Now I know. Nancy said she went to the park this morning, then did her members live. Now she's working on an altered notebook that is baby boy thing. Oh, sweet. I was lurking in Nancy's live. I didn't chat very much because I was working on these beanies. And I've been in several people's lives today. Um, if anybody missed it, Granny D did go live today. I know a lot of people have been asking me how she is doing. Um, she is still in the hospital. But if y'all are subscribed to her channel, go catch the replay of her live. She did go live twice because her daughter called in. Um, but she does give an update and... It's better to hear it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak, than me retelling it. So y'all go check it out. Um, but she seemed to be in good spirits. Chit-chatting with everybody. And joking like she does. And y'all, I'm just making sure that this number here matches the one over to the side. And then we will get going. Because on my diamond painting kit, um, I, I, I picked the wrong number because I wasn't paying attention. So I don't want to do that with this because this will be a little harder, I think, to correct if I, if I paint it the wrong color. At least with the diamond painting kit, I could pull the little diamond drills back off and take a look-see. And with this, I cannot. Okay, so you are in the wrong spot. Like I said, I did stick these back in there. I remember doing that. So, I'll notify four. Fifteen eighty. Hello, hello to everybody coming in. How's everybody doing? I am just getting my paints ready before we start checking out this kit. Now, I do have a link to One Day Saving in the description box below. And they gave me a coupon code when I did a unboxing for them. This was part of that unboxing. They did give me a coupon code so that if anybody wanted to save a little bit of money, you could. Um, I do not get, it's not an affiliated link or anything like that. It is just they gave me a coupon code so that my subscribers or viewers could save a little bit of money. 
and it is also in the description box. It is Be Creative 05 OFF, so you can save 5% on your purchase. And it is supposed to be, whoops, it's supposed to be um, lifetime. So anytime you want to use it, and you can use it as many times as you want. So has anybody in the chat done a paint by number kit? I used to do these quite a bit when I was younger. Um, I have gotten the kits where they already come on the hard canvas. So you do not have to do anything extra. You just start painting. I have done acrylic paint by number kits. I have also done the oil paint by number kits. I got to say, I do kind of like the acrylic better just because it's easier to clean my brushes. But, you know. This one is supposed to be acrylic. We'll find out here in just a minute if it really is because I, I got water to clean my brushes with. And it did come with three brushes. If you've never done a paint by number, what you do is in each of these little sections, there's a little teeny tiny number. Some are bigger than others. This whole big section here is all 17. So you're going to paint this with Whatever number is labeled 17, in this case, it's like an off-white color or a white-ish color. I'll show you that color. It could be white-white. Um, and that's it. That's how you do the paint by numbers. You paint each little tiny section. So let's just get started with number one. And then we'll go from there. And I guess... These are all fairly little, teeny tiny little spots. So I guess that's why they gave me different uh, size brushes. Looks like they gave me two of the little bitties and one that's kind of this size here. So what else did I bring to set up over here? Best I remember, I'm probably going to want to stir my paint. So I do, I did grab some toothpicks. Now I'm going to open this way. Let's see, Nancy said she has done paint by number. She started one, but she hasn't worked on it in months. Hello, Miss Lydia. Welcome in. Ta-da. Actually, it doesn't really look like it needs to be stirred. Well, we're going to stir it anyway, just in case. I know like with the oil paints, it's very, you have to stir it because it separates. So I will say that since this doesn't look to be separated, that it is definitely going to be acrylic and not oil. Because these have been sitting for quite some time. Let's see. Crafting with the Gringa says, I haven't done one in a really long time. It's like some fun, right? See, that's what I was thinking. I haven't done one in a while. And, you know, I've got all these kits and I thought, you know, I'm going to I'm going to do these. OK, now I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to stick it back over here in this little tray. Hey, Drainy. <laughs> she says, hey, can someone come get Aiden? Yes, you send that baby right on over. Him and my little Ellie can play. <laughs> Hello, Jill. All right, now where am I going to put this little, we're going to stick, we're going to put that toothpick right there. Get it out the way. Fiber Floozy, Jill, she says, thank you to whoever gave me the gift. That was YouTube land. I gifted five memberships at the beginning of the live and YouTube selected you to receive one. So congratulations. Alrighty, let's see here. We're going to start with this one way. Can y'all see me? Nope. Let me scooch it down. Okay. Now maybe you can see me. Sort of. 
out well, after I finish this one little section or this one little piece, then I'll come down where y'all can see me better. For those that are just coming in at the beginning of the live, we selected the stitch for March and it is going to be the half double crochet. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I have a I have a stitch along going on for 2024 and we're doing a different stitch each month and I do not like this brush. It's got a tiny little can y'all see I don't know if y'all can see it. It's got like a little floofy thing sticking out there. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I'm going to try this brush instead. We'll just drop that one in the water. I could probably cut that off, but we're just going to stick that over there. Hey, Niecy. Welcome in. I was lurking in Miss Niecy's live earlier today as well while I was working on beanies and all kinds of good stuff. And I think this brush is going to be too big. That's okay. I got other brushes stashed right over here beside me. We'll, we'll figure it out. And Jill is on the road watching from the hotel. This kit came from One Day Saving, um, but I know you can get uh, the paint by number kits from Walmart and Hobby Lobby, Michaels. I'm sure you could probably also get them from Amazon. Hey Chandler, welcome in. Everybody's saying hello to each other. Okay, we're gonna put that in there as well. I'm gonna figure out which brush to use here in just a minute. I promise. Okay, let me try this one off. And I know, I don't know if y'all can see, it's just like it's too long. It's like it's got a little wonky eyelash. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors. And Chandler was live last night, I believe, is when I was lurking in her live. So, y'all, there are all kinds of YouTubers going live and showing cool stuff and chit-chatting. Something for everybody on the YouTube streets. Hey, Katrina. She says, hey to each and every one of you in the chat. Love and hugs to all. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? But yeah, my Saturday, my once a month Saturday live. This is where I work on crafts that I have not done in forever. I've either picked up a kit or it's just something that I've been wanting to try and I haven't done it yet. So last month we did latch hook, which was something I had not done in a long time. And so, tonight we're trying paint by number. And this paint by number, there is no way I'm going to finish. Like the latch hook, I managed to finish that weekend. This will not be finished anytime soon, I know. And Chandler said, yes ma'am, I was. Thanks for being there. Well, you are so very welcome. So that is my plan. That's my plan for these Saturday. They're just once a month for right now. Um, just to get, just to play with some other crafts. Now don't get me wrong. I love my yarny fiber crafts and I, they're not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. I am still all about my yarn. But also like other crafts too. And so... I wanted to get some of this other stuff done. Make take make a little time to work on other stuff. Katrina said she's doing good. Thanks for asking. Just got the little one down for the night. Gonna jump in the shower in a few and work on her mosaic blanket. Nice. That's another. Um, I need I need to do another mosaic project. I have several patterns. 
that I have purchased that I that I haven't done. So this this uh, nutcracker, y'all might see it again sometime this year, because like I said, I know it's not going to get done. That's a whole lot of little teeny tiny spaces. So I know it is not going to get done tonight or even this weekend or more than likely this month. <laughs> My goal is to have it done before December so I can display it. But, I, like I said, I do have a link for One Day Saving in the description box. They have a lot of kits if you're interested in purchasing one from them. This particular Nutcracker one is currently sold out. But, they do have this Nutcracker design in a diamond painting. Which, I may have to get because I already have this Nutcracker design in a cross stitch pattern. And the paint by number. So, if I got the diamond painting, then I could... I could do all three and then compare them. My cross stitch one came from a different company. I believe I got it from VIP. Jill said she has two kits from Hirschner she needs to do. I had bought a diamond painting kit probably two years ago from Hershner's and I finally did it. I believe, let's see, I did that on uh, one of Nancy's Craft With Me Lot Nights over Little Treasures by Nancy. She had a diamond painting night and that's when I did mine. So, and Chandler's asking Trina said, so how is, whoop, and my, my, my little pointer, how's your knitting blanket coming along? And Trina says, well, it's under the desk. Hey, sometimes you got to put them projects in time out until, till it can behave. Chandler has been making all kinds of cute little amigurumis. Sorry, y'all. These little tiny ones, I have to concentrate. <laughs> Not really, but I mean, it's like, you know, when you're driving and you have to turn down the radio so you can see where you're going kind of what this is. I have to stop talking. Stay in the lines. It'll be okay. And sometimes these kits, if it's a little teeny, 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 tiny area, it'll have an arrow pointing. So if you're doing these kits, just best I remember, don't paint over the little arrow. Make sure you do the little time. I'm looking to see if this one has one so I can show you what I'm talking about. I don't see one jumping out at me. But if you if you did say, like say this little teeny tiny three right here. Some of the kits will have the three over here in this big section with an arrow pointing to it. If it can't print the number inside the little box. So sometimes you just have to watch for those. Like I said, I'm not seeing one on this one right now. So maybe they've stopped doing that. <laughs> Whoop, Nancy said she is having another diamond painting night on February 23rd. Well, there you go, y'all. So if y'all have a diamond painting kit that you're wanting to do and want to get tips and tricks and pointers on how to get started, or if you just want to diamond paint along with other people, Nancy will be doing that on her live. Let's see, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way where you can see what I'm doing. Um, Nancy has a group and she has people join her own panel. Uh, her panel link group is in Instagram. But I will let y'all get in touch with Miss Nancy if that's something that you're interested in.
Oh, that's cool. Katrina said she's going to join my group on Facebook and will post a pic so I can share it of her mosaic. Okay. Please do. I will let me know when you do, when you send it, and I will go accept. I do have my Facebook group set up as private. And y'all, that is because when I set up my group, well, it was recommended by other um, channels. But at the time, there was a lot of those um, scammers that were going around trying to get you to, you know, oh, I bet you can't type a name that doesn't have any A's or, you know, that kind of stuff. Or they would say a certain animal was found at the market and then it would just say hashtag and then the name of a city. And they were posing to be people in your area. So I, I, to cut down on that, I did set mine up as, pri as a private group. And that's the only reason why. As long as you answer the questions, three simple little questions, um, I accept you into the group. And I also pre-approve all of the um, posts for that same reason. I don't discriminate against posts. I just, um, that's why, that's the only reason I have it on there. So, hey, Kelly, welcome in. And y'all, I bring it. Kelly was cooking last night, making freaking meatloaf and mashed potatoes, making me hungry for meatloaf and mashed potatoes. And it looked delicious. She can keep the avocado. I'm with, uh, oh, Mr. B, I believe is who it was. I'm with him on the no avocados. I am team no avocado. That's not to say I won't eat it every now and again if, you know, if it's there and I don't have a choice. But it's not something that I'm just going to purchase. My nephew loves it and my, my kids like it. They like to put it on their burgers. Me, not so much. And Katrina, after I do this little spot right here, I will go accept your request and share your blanket. Okay. Hey, Bridget, welcome in. <laughs> Nancy says, Sorry, Pam, we can't be friends anymore. I love avocados. Hey, look at it this way, Nancy. More for you. You don't have to worry about me stealing your avocados. I'm not going to eat them. If they're in the fridge or on the counter or wherever you keep avocados, I, I'm not going to snag them and eat them. Do, 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 up, proof. Alrighty, Miss Katrina, I have approved your request. So now you can go post your picture and then let me know when you do that. And then I will, uh, I will, uh, I'll, I'll show that. And, but yeah, now my nephew and them, they, now our local, I've never been a fan of, of guacamole either. Shocker, I know, since I don't like avocados, right? But our local Mexican restaurant, their guac is actually pretty tasty. And they have a guacamole casero. That's pretty good. So, but normally, I'm, I'm just not a, not a guacamole fan. Like I said, there's is there. I will give it to them. There's is good. Either that or my taste have changed, and and I like it more now than I did as a kid. But this has never been my favorite food. Now, I like Mexican food, just not so much on the guac. Hey, Noe, welcome in. And let's see. I bring it every day. Is Kelly? If y'all haven't checked out Kelly's channel, she cooks on Friday nights and makes us all hungry. She goes live right after Granny D. So if you haven't ate supper when you're watching her channel or watch her Friday night lives, you're going to get hungry. 
There's been many a time that I've watched her and been like, hmm, what am I having for supper? Oh, I know what I'm having. I'm having what Kelly's cooking because now i got to go to the store and get some food. <laughs> no, he said the supermarket was a madhouse. Well, I don't even know when... Let's see, we already had Snowpocalypse, so I guess Snowmageddon. I don't know when any of those are supposed to happen. I just hope it's not uh, Monday or Tuesday, because <laughs> I haven't been to the store. And I, I have stuff I need to do Monday. So I guess, it can, I guess Tuesday is okay. Anybody in the Tennessee area or anybody know? My friend didn't know. She just had been seeing people post about it on Facebook. And y'all know everything you read on Facebook is true. <laughs> ah, let's see. No, he said the checkout lines were flowing into the aisles. And Kelly said, oh, that's right. The market was probably busy for game. You're probably right. Probably because of Super Bowl. But you know what? I I like Super Bowl foods. I like, which, I mean, I like football in general, but the Super Bowl, you got the, all the appetizer top foods, plus you got all the commercials and the halftime show. This year, we're going to have some Usher. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I'm excited. Um, I, as far as the teams, I don't, I don't root for either one of them. However, I do know my friends, uh, one of my good friends, her son-in-law plays for the 49ers. So I will probably be rooting him on. Lori, if you're lurking, I I'm pulling for Jake. Sometimes I've been trying to get her. She's a crocheter. I've been trying to get her to come on with me sometimes. Now he said she's pretty much in 49er country. And Jill said they're heading into snow tomorrow. Ooh, I, I know Niecy was saying it was snowing at her house today. But she's in Montana, big sky country, so they get way more snow than we do here in Tennessee. I don't mind the snow as long as I can just sit in my house and be nice and warm and toasty and just look at it from the window and not have to go anywhere or do anything till it's gone. So if that's the case, if it's coming, I just need to go stock up on some, on some foods and some snack foods and some food food. I'll be good to go. And Katrina, let me do this little section right here, and then I will go get your picture and share it. Because I just saw another one. Toss you over there. Hey, Flower Tammy, welcome in. Oh, she's Jill said they're heading into Colorado. Yeah, I, I would imagine Colorado's probably still got quite a bit of snow as well. Let's see. Go to my group here. Group, group, group. Ding, ding. Ooh, that's pretty, Katrina. Okay. Now let me go over here on my computer where I can share a screen. Well, it helps if I open up the Facebook land. That's really nice, Katrina. Oh, 
I like that. That's pretty. Are you, um, is this your pattern or are you using someone else's pattern? Either way, it's quite pretty. I like it. I like the, I like the way that pattern or the way the white is really contrasting or the creamy is contrasting against that brown. Very nice. She says, thank you, purple and white cam doesn't do justice. Is it purple and white? It looks brown and maybe it is purple. On my camera, it looks brown. But purple is pretty too. Stop screen. Wait, Bridget's saying that's beautiful. <laughs> no, he said, Mom's maternal side has red and gold embedded in their DNA. Great uncle helped build the original candlestick part. Well, that's cool. Katrina said, the pattern is from yarn, trees, and rainbows. Oh, cool. Okay, Jenny. She said she'll be back on chat soon. She's over on Lisa's live. Very good, very good. All righty. Back to Mr. Nutcracker here. And yeah, he's going to take, he's going to take a while. And Katrina said the pattern is diamonds number 11. See, I like the mosaics because you can do those in so many different color patterns. So if you are a fan or if you have a fan of whatever sports team, as long as it's two fairly good contrasting colors, you can make any mosaic pattern or, yeah, for your favorite sports team. Without being worrying about copywriting and Katrina says thank you all you are so very welcome it's coming out really nice looking for little teeny tiny ones y'all Katrina says she wants to do that same pattern, but in black and yellow, because her husband's favorite color is yellow, and I think the black would go great with the yellow. It would. Absolutely. Noe says she finished her hex cardi and got pictures. Yay! Hey, Susan, welcome in. Congrats, Noe, on finishing your cardi. So many little teeny tiny numbers, y'all. Let's do this big section or big ish section. Hey, Miguel. He says, Hey, Pam and everybody just locked up the flock. Oh no, slipped in the mud. It was not pretty getting up. Well, I hope you are okay. Hey, Jonathan. He said, Texas gumbo clay mud. Ugh, ah, yeah. I was coming, or letting, it's been raining here, Miguel. It's been, it's a giant mud hole. I was letting my dog in earlier. Because it was raining, and he, He's a whiny baby when it's raining. He doesn't want to be out in it, which I mean, I can't say as I blame him. But anyway, he comes in with his big old giant muddy paw, steps right into my house shoe, which soaks up all the mud and grossness that was on his paw. But Miguel, I hope you are all right. Hopefully, even though it wasn't, it wasn't fun getting up, hopefully the mud made it a soft landing. Hey, Kimberly. She said, sorry, she's late. A blanket hello to all. Got us on the TV and headed back to bed. Well, I hope your crew and you are feeling a little better. 
The fact that you're heading back to bed sounds like maybe not so much. But take it easy and rest up. Kimberly's whole family's been down with the crud. And y'all, let's see who we've got coming in. If y'all don't, uh, Miguel, if y'all don't know Miguel's channel, which is who knows. He likes to crochet and make cute things. And he's also got chickens. And he'll show his chickens and his little key cat. And for some reason, Miguel, you ha do you have a dog too? I was thinking I saw a little dog on your video the other day. can go check out all his little chickens and their little their little little adventures. He had some new chickens he added to the flock, added some new ladies. And for those that are coming in, I am working on a diamond painting kit that was sent to me by One Day Savings. This particular one is no longer available. It is sold out. It's just nutcrackers. But they have lots of others you can choose from. I have a coupon code in the description box. I do not have an affiliate link or anything. It's just to save you 5% if you decide you want to purchase from them. I'm all about trying to help people save a little bit of money here and there when we can. And if you've just come in, let us know. Have you ever done diamond or have you ever done paint by number? Um, yeah. And Susan said, uh, Miguel says, I have a Chihuahua and a Maltese and Esther, my goose. Oh, I, uh, I don't know how I've missed the little doggies. I, I guess I knew you had them. I just, I don't know how I missed them. Now the goose I have missed. I don't know how I've missed her either. Probably when I'm in lurk mode and I get distracted, I squirrel. And so, speaking of squirrel, Susan's asking if we saw Granny D's live earlier today. I did. Um, and I was letting people know earlier, if you are wondering how Miss Granny D is doing, go check out her live. And she gives her own update straight from the hospital bed. And Susan said she's done a paint by number quite a while ago. This is the first one I have done in a in a long while too, Susan. That's what these Saturday night lives, these once a month ones are for. It's for me to focus on getting some of these kits that I have purchased or been gifted um, or been sent to review. It's a time for me to actually do these. To make time to, to do these kits or crafts that I've been wanting to try. So for 2024, I set aside one Saturday a month to do them. To make myself do them and see see what's going on. See what I like. See, see what I've been missing out on. Some of the crafts will be crafts I have never ever done. And so it'll probably be a hot mess when I get to one of those. But, oh, Miss Granny D, um, she does have a broken leg, but it's, uh, and she is in the hospital. But as far as what's going on with her, y'all go check out her live. Not right now. Wait until after we're done here. And then go check out her replay, and y'all can um, hear what she has to say about what's been going on with her and how it happened and what caused it and what the next steps are going to be. Oh, how cool. Miguel said he's raised his goose since she was a day old. Oh, sweet. Esther was my grandmother's name. 
And my grandmother was an amazing crocheter. She would crochet in her sleep. Like, she would be sitting in her little rocking chair, just crocheting away, sound asleep. Her hands were always going. And she crocheted with thread. 99% of the time, she crocheted with thread. She also quilted. But her main passion was making bedspreads and doilies and tablecloths with, with thread. And her, she, it looked like light, it was lightning fast when she would crochet. With them little teeny tiny metal steel hooks. I have learned to like the, the smaller yarns, the thinner yarns. But I have to use a big, my thick chunky, my thick chunky hooks. Um, otherwise it's just not enjoyable for me, but I was able to snag some of the tinier sizes of the Odyssey hooks by furls before they went away. And those have made all the difference for me because the handle grip is bigger, even though the tip of it, even though the top of the, the hook is so skinny, the handle itself is fatter. So it's made it a lot easier. Jenny says, hiya, y'all. Welcome back, Jenny. So I wonder what color this is. I guess this is brown. I didn't see a lot of brown in the, in the Nutcracker, but I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is. I guess it could be like, I guess it could be uh, gold. She said, thank you, lovely, to be here. I guess it could be gold. I could see there being gold on the Nutcracker. I was going to show y'all the picture. I had it pulled up on my phone from still on an open tab from way back in the day. But it was, um, when I went to open it, it refreshed. And so then the picture was gone because it sold out and it's no longer available. But like I said, they do have this the three nutcrackers as a diamond painting so if you wanted a nutcracker you could get the diamond painting kit instead i may have to i may have to order one of those it was they're very inexpensive these their kits and now i'm like not even on the screen anymore hold up i've moved down let me move my little tray up y'all should have yelled at me been like girl we can't see what you're doing I'm just not paying any old attention. So on the Crafty Ladies li Live the other night, I was laughing, saying we were literally watching paint dry, and then here we are doing it again. <laughs> Y'all watching, watching paint dry. It's okay, though. Hey, Chandler says she'll be right back. She's got to go check the laundry. Well, Chandler, if you're doing laundry, come on over. I got plenty. I don't mind washing the laundry. I just hate the folding and the putting it away. <laughs> Nancy said, that's okay. No one can see what I'm doing now. You did good on your live. You turned your camera. We can see you. It's all good. Don't stress it. Let's see. Can y'all see this right here? And that would be a no. Okay. So... Here. Okay, you can see this one. I'm trying to at least keep it where you can. And I have a, a easel that I was going to try to set up, but I was working on beanies today, making beanies, so that didn't happen. But I don't think the camera angle would have worked for it anyway. I don't. Uh, this camera is, the way it's set up, it wouldn't have worked. I would have had to switch to something different. Hey, Darcy, you're welcome in. We are uh, paint by number, doing paint by number today. So 
Susan says, have you tried the Loops and Threads soft acrylic yarn? Her niece bought her four skeins today, purple, navy, amethyst, and wreath. Reef and each one has 354 yards. Oh, I have um soft classic. I don't know if I have or not. I have I have used loops and threads, but I don't know if I've used the one called soft. I do not know. It is possible that I have. You'll have to let us know how it works up. But 354 yards is a pretty good yardage for skiing. Is it a number four, I guess, probably? A four weight? And for those of you that are just coming in, at the beginning of the live, we picked... The stitch for the 2024 stitch along and the stitch for March is going to be the half double crochet. So after this live ends, I will go back and add the link in the description box for my tutorial for that. And I'll also add the link for the sedge stitch and the moss stitch for those tutorials in the description box because I forgot to do that. Can y'all can y'all see how it's like clumping up on this little it's not focusing in. Well you can kind of see it sticking out there on the side. I guess I'm I guess it's I need to get it wet ever so often so that, that acrylic um, paint doesn't dry on the end of the paintbrush. Let's see, Susan said, yep, she said something about making a queen size blanket. And then she brought her that and said she wanted to get me some yarn. Oh, well, that was nice of her, though. Um, she's going to need to bring you some more for a queen-size blanket. <laughs> but that's nice that she bought you some yarn. I'm looking to see if there's any more ones up in this area before I move to another color. Mm. I see some up here by this. I'm, uh, let's see. Can y'all see that over there? Rip. That would be no and no. Okay. How about right here? Yep, you can see that. What I'm doing, y'all, when I'm asking if y'all can see it is my... my uh, my screen is over to my left. So I'm looking on my other screen over there to see if y'all, so I can see what y'all can see. So again, if y'all can't see me, just yell in the chat. And then when I glance up, I'll be like, oh, y'all can't see me. Jenny said, paint by numbers. I've always wanted to do that. Hugs. You should give it a try. It's pretty fun. Like I said, I haven't done it in years. Years and years and years. So. But I, but I got this kit. And it's just something I've wanted to. Pull back out and do. I'm not. I'm not a great. Was it freelance painter? I'm not good at just figuring it out on my own. So these paint by numbers. Help me. They help me create pretty paintings because there's no way, I mean, I could paint a nutcracker, but it would not look anywhere like anything like this. It would be a hot mess. That is not where my skill set lies. Darcia said, be right back. Need more coffee. I can create pretty stuff with yarn and I can create cross stitch patterns and then follow it and then do some little grids and stuff. But to just 
sit down with a blank canvas and some paint, there's no way I could come up with this on my own. Now, I do like going to painting with a twist. If y'all have never done anything like that, if y'all have one in your area, it's really fun. But they take you step by step through how to do it. But again, it's not like I'm doing it on my own. Bridget said, I paint on Nutcrackers. It's so much fun. Oh, see, Bridget, I've been looking every year when Hobby Lobby puts out those plain ones. I, oh, See, now you make me wish I had a bought one. Next year, I'll have to grab one. I think Walmart had some this year, too. I like them. Sorry, y'all. It's the little skinny spot. Y'all, y'all know I can't. I can't concentrate on the little tiny spot. <laughs> on the little tiny spots and talk at the same time. Oh, I'm down there by my name. If y'all can't see me, I guess I could take my name off. I'll just go back up a little bit here in a minute. I'll change colors and pick something that's in the center. Can you see this? Yep. Some of these spots are so tiny. Goodness gracious. So if... Oh, I'm sure I didn't just stick my hand in paint. So if your eyes are like mine and getting a little... uh not as good as they used to be you might want to use a little magnifying glass or one of them little thingies like Nancy has and I think um, Miss VJ said she has one too let's see can y'all see my hand nope and no um, but it's one of those little things that goes on on your head it's like a headlamp and it's got a little magnifier that comes down but Miss BJ was saying she uses a magnifier when she's making her earrings. So for some of these, I would suggest that to be super duper helpful. Because some of these little sections are very, very tiny. Susan said, how would you do these colors? Hmm. So, Susan, are you planning on doing it in rows? Or are you going to work in the round? Um, are you going to freelance it? Are you going to wing it? Are you going to follow a pattern? Because you could always chevron it and do like and rotate off the colors just depends on how many ends you want to work in, weave in or if you want to work it in the round and do just big color blocks let us know rose and maybe one of bag o days i would say depend depend on what pattern you select um and if, and, and if you want big color blocks with less ends to weave in, or if you don't mind weaving in the ends. Let us know. I'm not a big fan of weaving in ends. However, I do make a lot of, I have made a lot of chevrons in my day. But that is because that is the first pattern stitch that I learned. My mama taught me how to do that when I was little. And so that is what I made a lot of. Welcome back Chandler. I don't know if you were here but I was like come on over you can do my laundry or check it to help me out with it. I, I'm cool with that. So 
Susan said she is not a fan of weaving in the ends either. <laughs> I mean, I know it's part of it. And that's why on my year-long calendar blanket or the stitch along, I'm going to be weaving in my ends as I go. Because nothing makes me sadder than to finish a project and then flip it over and see 8,000 ends that I still have to weave in. Because to me, that takes almost as long as crochet in the whole dad blame bank blanket. And I do try to work over my tails as I go, but you know, you still have to go back and weave in. You still have, there's still weaving to be done. Jenny says, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Y'all still see my hand? I know I'm getting low again. Almost. Alright, I think I've got all the ones that I can see, that y'all can see. There's probably like a big giant one like sticking out in the middle that I'm just like missing. But okay, we're going to close up number one and find a different color. If I can close the little thingy. Let's see here, y'all. It's 707 Central Time. We'll probably hang out till about 8 o'clock. Usually, my Saturday Night Lives, we just try to go about two hours. Just because, why not? I know I saw I missed something. Let me scroll back up here. Because my chat jumped. Mm -mm -mm. Jenny said to Darcy, I'll have a co coffee latte, please. And, ooh, Nancy's going to work on her. And she says she's going to work on her. So I'm guessing her uh, paint by number after she finishes up with her um, notebook that she's working on. Yay. All right, y'all. I'm at the bottom of the chat. So if I missed your comment, please type it again. And I will I will get that. I, I don't mean to miss, miss stuff, but sometimes I do, especially when I'm not. Looking at the chat, like, I'm on the road, we're going to pull this back down. Sorry for the noises it's making. Okay, can y'all see that? Yep, okay. We're going to start with number two, which looks to be an orangey color, which is probably also supposed to be a gold-ish, but it looks orange, so we're going to call it orange. Orange ish. Let's see if I cannot. Let's see if I can do this without sticking my hand in all them little ones and getting paint everywhere. Because that, y'all, is something I would do. So I've got my uh, sweatshirt on here that I got off of Timu. Because I'm like, you know, if, if it gets paint on it, it's okay. And I was chilly. And it's very long and very warm and fuzzy. Chandler said, okay. Y'all saw it here. She said, okay. Coming and doing my laundry, or helping me do my laundry. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. Y'all won't hear a knock on the door because it'll take her. It'll take her about twelve hours or so to get here. <laughs> hey, Debbie. 
She said, evening, Pam and Chat. Chandler's packing a bag. Let's see. Ooh, that goes all the way up here. Is my hand in the way? Not too bad. So, are y'all planning to watch the Super Bowl? Or y'all do y'all usually go to a party? Back in the day, and when my kids were younger, we always had a Super Bowl party. A lot of times they would be playing video games and stuff with their friends, and then when they were really little, and then the adults would all be we'd have all the friends over and everybody would bring some some sort of appetizer or meal and we'd have a cookout and but I love all the commercials that's what I was going to college for um, back in the day was advertising so I love all the commercials still to this day that's my favorite one of my favorite parts of it is all the commercials welcome back Katrina Noe has to work tomorrow and Dorcia says, be back, fixing hubby something to eat. I've got to do that after this is over because um, if y'all missed me at the beginning, I, I was working on snow day beanies, not paying attention to the time. So that's what I'm going to do after I get off of here is fix me something to eat. I had a snack earlier, but all this talk of appetizer -y type foods, I may go see what I got in the freezer. Because I do have some appetizer type foods in the freezer. I just don't know what's in there. Whoop, Susan's back. She had to take a call. We were just talking about Super Bowl foods. And if anybody's going to be watching the Super Bowl or what you're going to be doing. And I don't know if Marley Bird is, is doing it this year. But she usually does a all-day craft along on Super Bowl Sunday. Does anyone know if she's doing that this year? I want to say I've watched her do that for several years now. And I can't remember if she did it last year or, or not. But the years that I watched, she did... I know she did a crochet one and a knit one. And I kind of think one year she also had... Tunisian mixed in there. So she was busy, busy, busy all day long. Nancy said Earl has to work tomorrow, so she will be crafting. And Katrina said, I think she is, but don't quote me on that. Well, if anybody, um, if one of my mods wants to check it out and see, and that's Marley Bird. She has a lot of, uh, if y'all are not fam familiar with Marley Bird, I'm sure you probably are. But she has all kinds of knit and crochet tutorials on her channel. For those of you that like to knit and crochet, if you're wanting to look, if you're looking for a project to do, and usually, best I remember, her, her, her craft along is something that you can finish during the, the day, like during the time frame that her live is going on. So it's not something that you have to like come back, um, that you have to work on for two or three months. It's something that. That's what I remember. I want to say it was like a hat or something one year or a scarf. or. But at the end of the day, you would have a completed project. So if you're looking for something mystery style or, I mean, I'm sure you could see what it is at this point. But if 
you've got yarn in your stash and you need something to do, go check it out. I will probably be working some more on my beanies and getting ready for that for next week. And, you know, I'll probably be working on this a little bit because I want to get it sort of a little bit done on it. Where I can set it up and... Oh, there you go. Nancy has got Marley Bird's pregame. So she has dropped the link. So if y'all are looking for something to do tomorrow, if you're looking for a craft project and you weren't sure what you wanted to do, check her out. And if y'all know of any other crafters that are doing something similar, let us know who they are. and We will check them out as well. There's usually quite a few people that are live on Sundays. It's, it's a busy day in the YouTube streets, but there are always replays. So if you miss somebody and you want to learn something new, you can go check out the replays. Probably should have switched off to that bigger brush for part of this big two section here. But we we'll use the little one. Or if y'all want to do a project that you're not sure of, you can pretty much pick any of your favorite designers. You don't have to put it on the little spinny willy thingy, but you can just go to any of their any of your favorite people's and pick out a project that you've been wanting to try or wanting to do that you haven't taken the time to do. Grab your yarn or your paintbrush or your needle, whatever the craft might be, and just sit down and have have a day to yourself. Have a me day. Ooh, or maybe you like to cook. There are a lot of great cooking channels. Like we were talking about earlier, y'all can go over to I Bring It Kelly. She's she's had quite a few yummy uh, recipes that she has shared. Cooking with Pam, she shares a bunch of really yummy recipes as well. I think I probably should have took my hair dryer and blow made I could have dried that a little bit before I started working on my next color but you know I might do that tomorrow or I may stick it up on the easel so that my hand is not resting on it there's my thigh bring it Kelly Kelly, if you want to type buzz in the chat, B-U-Z-Z, Nightbot will drop your link. And those that have not had a chance to check you out can go check out your channel. She also sings on her channel sometimes. She shares, um, she goes to a local flea market and shares stuff that she finds. So Kelly's channel has all kinds of goodies, something for everybody. Good night, Crafting with Gringos. Have a great night. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit tonight. We appreciate you. Now, next month, I'm not sure what the craft is going to be. 
I'd like to sometimes show y'all stuff that I could teach you something on. Besides just watching me do something, I'd like to show you how to make something. Or So if there's a craft that I know how to do, that you want to learn how to do, if I know how to do it, I'll be happy to try to try to help. And Debbie said, it's been years since I painted by numbers. Me too. And I had this kit and I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to. This one is a bit ambitious. Not going to lie. It's pretty big. But I didn't know how. I should have known how big it was when I picked it out. I mean, it probably had the dimensions. I just didn't pay attention to them. But, you know, it's Nutcracker. So maybe I'll have it done by December. That's my goal anyway. Because <laughs> I know when we did the, um, the latch hook. I hope I helped some people learn how to do that that hasn't had not done it in a while. This is so tiny. I'm afraid y'all y'all can't see what's going on. But I appreciate y'all hanging with me. Keeping me company while I do this. It's like our little craft along. See, do I need is it time to move this up? Yep. Let's see, right there. I'll put it there. That way I know where my where my where my cutoff is. Hey Paula, welcome in. That way y'all can see. I can see. This little bobble right there, that's my cutoff. That way I know if I go above that or over. Too much, y'all won't be able to see my my paintbrush. I do have some cross stitch kits. I also have a cross stitch pattern maker. I was thinking about designing a cross stitch pattern and then showing y'all how to do everything from start to finish, like um, the counted cross stitch. And then if you're interested and want the pattern, I could just email it to you. Or something like that. Is that something that would interest anyone? So let me know. Might be something I could email out ahead of time. Like I would have to plan that one a little bit in advance. But maybe it would be something I could. Um, like I said plan ahead and then email out. So anybody that wanted to craft along while like in real time and had questions you could. You could ask. Susan says, Pam, did you start your sum money yet? No, ma'am, I have not. I haven't. It's it's still on my to-do list, but I have not started it yet. Have you started yours? You have, haven't you? And y'all, what she is asking is Miss C's Cottage is hosting a crochet along making a sun bunny. And her lives are on Sundays. But no, I have not. Amagurumis are not my, they're not my jam. But I did want to participate and make one, but I have not started. Paula says, how are you, Pam? I am doing pretty good. I have been crocheting today, working up a converting the baby beanie tutorial that I've got on my channel that came out this past week, converting it to an adult size, working out the stitch count and stuff, because we're going to be doing that on Thursday night, crocheting up the adult size version of the snow day beanie. anybody would like to learn how to do that and we'll try to have a tutorial for it hopefully I will have time to get that done tomorrow we shall see what tomorrow holds because somebody told me earlier we got let's see what I decided was gonna be snowpocalypse snowmageddon 
I don't remember which one I said now. One of those two is supposed to be coming again, but I don't know when. And so I guess I need to go to the store, which I needed to go to the grocery store anyway. I needed to go today, but it was pouring down rain. I just didn't feel like getting out of the house. So, yeah. So that means I have to go tomorrow. Because I need food. Let's see. Can y'all see this one? You can. So in the morning, I will probably get up and head to the grocery store. Maybe I can get up and get out before it gets super busy and crowded everywhere. I'm not getting very far on this, y'all. Ooh, yeah, this is going to take me a while. Like I said, as long as it's done by Christmas. So I have plenty of time. Plenty of time. It's pretty wild. Like where my camera is, this number two looks like I should be like in the middle of the screen. But when I look at the screen, I'm not in the middle of the screen. It's way up at the top. But I do need to go pick up a few things at the grocery store. And my plan was to go to Hobby Lobby this morning. But since it was raining, I did not go. So. I just didn't feel like getting out in that mess. Because it wasn't just a sprinkle. It was like full on. It was, it was heavy rain. Why is that shadow in there? Sorry about that shadow, y'all. It's been there the whole time. I just now noticed it. I tried to turn the light. I guess it's where it's hitting the camera. And y'all, I don't know if my chat stopped or if y'all are crafting and not chatting, but I have not seen anything come through here in just a little bit. So if you were asking me questions, I am not intentionally ignoring you. I may need to go look on the old YT side. What was I saying before I got distracted and had a squirrel moment? Oh, yeah. Rain. It was raining hard. Like, I would have been drenched just trying to get to the car. And that's not my idea of a good time. And Susan said, yeah, okay, there sir comes some through. Okay, Nancy said, still here. Susan said, yes, I would like that. I'm thinking on this, the, the crochet or the cross stitch. If it's not the cross stitch, let me know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lori, welcome in. And she's got the little lurky Lulu symbol, so let's play this for everybody that's been lurking. Tammy's still here, too. Okay, well, y'all are just crafting and listening to me ramble, and that is a-okay. I appreciate y'all being here. So this is for everybody that is crafting and hanging out with me. This is for y'all. <laughs> I 
appreciate y'all coming and hanging. And if you are catching the replay, well, thanks for catching the replay. And Susan said, yep, it's still on her to-do list also. Well, I will keep that in mind then for the cross stitch and I will get to designing something. And then that way I can show. I do have a pattern maker program. So it can be anything. I'd probably do something on the small side and not very detailed just so that it would for ease of learning how to do it and cross stitch is kind of like paint by number it is not a something that is uh, done quickly but you can do smaller projects in a reasonable amount of time so that's something I will I will work on I will up with something let's see so I might can do that next month I'll look at I'll look at my calendar we'll, we'll plan to do that either in March or April and I'll come up with something and I'll let y'all know ahead of time maybe we'll do it in April that way and I can announce it in March and then send anybody that is interested or wants to get the pattern can email me though you'll have time to email me and I'll have time to get it out to you but um, still in screen I am but I will I will figure that out between now and then I guess I could also do like a little video like a little short letting people know or I can announce it like on my Thursdays okay this is how my brain works I go through all the possible scenarios. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I can do that. We can do that. So if y'all have any ideas of what you would like to cross stitch, keeping, you know, keeping in mind something simple, not very detailed, something that we would be able to do within a two hour time span. Because that's generally how long I go on my Saturday Night Lives. So we don't want to go super long. Um, I know Lisa Nitz normally had been going live at um, 8 o'clock Central. Her her internet at her house has been uh, given her fits. So she's been going live when her internet is cooperating. So I know she was live um, earlier tonight. So, but, you know, I don't want to keep us here too, too long. So if we can get it done within like a two hour time span, just let me know if y'all have any ideas. I could probably do a mandala style or something like that. That way, if you could use your own colors if you didn't want to use the colors that I chose it'd be easy to swap it out or I could do something like a heart or um, I could do a heart or I could do um, I just lost what I was gonna say a flower something something that's not detailed Still in screen, I am. If I, I could take my logo, I thought about turning my logo into a cross stitch pattern, he would be a little more detailed. than what I think we could do in a two hour time span.
also been looking at designing a red truck. Again, that would also be something not in the two hour time span. <laughs> hmm. Oh, thank you, Tammy. She said she really liked my picture from yesterday. Well, thank you very much. Over on Nancy's channel, we had a, she had a craft with buttons. And I attempted to do the gingham again. And was a little more successful with it this time than I was the first time I gave it a whirl. And so I painted a gingham pattern on a canvas and then design then just did a heart on it and with buttons and I will show that here in just a little bit and Lori says she hasn't cross stitched in years but would love to do a mandala or a flower okay see mandala would be fairly easy I think I could I think I could come up with a mandala pattern and I could do a small one but I could also do it to where it would be where you could continue it out make it bigger or I could do a simple a simple flower like a daisy Or maybe a sunflower. Paula said she has not done a paint by number in a long time. This is the first one I've done in a really long time as well. But I want to get it finished. I want to I work on it a little bit here and there throughout the year. And at least try to have it done by Christmas. Because it's three nutcrackers. And I kind of think this over here is a Christmas tree. Best I remember. And Lori said she is working on the border of her 2023 Jada and Stitches calendar project. Ooh, yay! I started a Jada and Stitches one. Um last year when she was doing the Tunisian and then I got busy doing other projects and got that one put that one set aside I was doing a um, a scarf with all the different stitches so I need to pull that back out and finish it Let's see can y'all see that yeah you can let's let's go to this bigger brush again I see a big section or a decent sized section of two that I can use this bigger brush on. Lori finished a blanket earlier. She wants to start something new, but feel compelled to finish some things first. Girl, I understand. And, you know, when you finish something, you just feel like, yeah, I finished it. Woohoo! So, if you're already working on the border, then finish it up. And then that's another project done. And you can mark it off the list. I have several things that I need to finish. Several, several, several. Hey, Jerry. He said, got my bunny head finished, but behind on the rest, I switched to a lot since I switched to a larger yarn. I saw your bunny, I believe, on Instagram. You're doing such a great job, Jer. Y'all, he's he's new to crochet, but he is really doing a great job. He is picking it up quite well. He 
even got the eyes on his little bunny head. And Jerry, I hadn't even started my sun bunny. Falling behind. I want to do one. I just haven't, just haven't started it yet. Maybe I'll work on that tomorrow too. You know. Maybe I do need a another snow day. <laughs> oh, Nisi says dinner time. Good night, everyone. Good night, Nisi. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little while tonight. I appreciate it. Enjoy your dinner. Still in screen? I am. We haven't got a whole lot done on Mr. Uh, Nutcracker Man here. Some of those are just teeny, teeny, tiny. I mean, like just tiny. Like that little three, that, that, that right there. I mean, you can't even see it. My paintbrush covering it up. Jerry said, always mess that up. That, yeah, more than likely I will stitch the eyeballs on mine with yarn, possibly. Maybe. I mean, I have some safety eyes, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I may just stitch the little eyes on there. Instead of putting the safety eyes. I don't know. It'll make it look a little different, but that's okay. Now I'm going back where this is starting to dry to see where I missed spots. Sorry, y'all. I'm looking. <laughs> y'all can't see my head. It's like right here and I'm looking. It's like right beside the camera. Let's see. Can y'all see that down there? Let's see. Let's see how far up this can go to where y'all can see. Not very far. That's about it. What is it hitting on? Oh, it's under here. That's where I folded up the canvas. Let's see. Can see that? Yeah, you can see that. Oh, let's switch off again. Back to this one. Should ask Nisi what she was fixing. I don't know what I'm gonna fix for supper. I might fix breakfast. Maybe. You know I've got some bacon. Or I got some crescent rolls, croissants. One of those two. Same same difference. I'm just not sure what the little to the refrigerator kind. That they come in the little container and you pop them. Um, so I might make those and fix like some chicken salad with cheese. And then bake all that in there. And make like a little ooey gooey yummy chicken pocket thingy. Hmm. I can also see what's in the freezer. Guess it'll depend upon how how energetic I am after we this live ends and how how creative I want to get in the kitchen. I can't see that. You kind of see that. That's kind of low too. I think we're done with all the twos I can do. Ooh, Regina says bacon and breakfast. Yummy. Hey, Regina. See, that sounds good, too, and I know I have bacon. Bacon is all, I mean, I'm up for bacon pretty much 99% of the time. Welcome back, Darcia. I am, I am. Bacon, bacon, bacon. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to call it on the twos there for right now. 
because the rest of it is down here or over here on the sides where y'all can't see. So I think this is all eyes and it's not gold or whatever color that's supposed to be. Orange. Yeah. Can. That, I don't know if it'll zoom in or if it will focus. Probably not. It'll probably be all. Look at all them little teeny tiny. Oh, I thought I just saw an arrow. Does it not have an arrow? No. It's not an arrow. It looked like an arrow on the thing. But it's just where it's super freaking tiny. There's a little number in there. Hey, Bonnie. Lori said she made pork roast and carrots in the crock pot with mashed potatoes. That sounds delicious. She said she got a fancy cake earlier at Costco. And then tomorrow I'm going to do pulled barbecue with the leftover pork for Super Bowl. That sounds delicious. That sounds yum, yum, yum. All right, y'all. Let me roll my little canvas back down here since I lifted it up. Here we go. In case y'all wondered, that's how much approximately an hour and a half or the painting got me. <laughs> Not very far. Oh, let's see. If I still have that, I do not. Okay, for those that were not here at the beginning, the stitch for March is going to be the half double crochet. And I clicked on the wrong button. Ta-da! It's me! So our stitch for March is going to be the half double crochet. Everybody is welcoming it in, Miss Bonnie. And Bonnie said, oh, I love that stitch. Right? Me too. I do like the half double. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I don't know. There's not very many stitches in crochet that I dislike. <laughs> Let's just be real. So, y'all, this hat is what I was working up for the, um, this is the snow day beanie. I made it for babies. That tutorial is on my channel. So, I was working out the stitch count and everything for the adult one. This is it and variegated and you kind of lose all the stitch definition in the variegated But I wanted to work it up in different yarns the variegated the solids that way you can kind of get an idea And so this is what we're going to be doing on Thursday night. I will show y'all how to do it and I will um, Have a tutorial for it. Hopefully I will get that filmed up tomorrow Because it is slightly different from the baby one Bonnie said, I'm trying to make the adult one from your tutorial. I want to use the same, but make it into an adult. Yes, and if you make it as an adult one using the same stitch count or using the same as the baby one, the only thing is it's not on this one. The one I made earlier, hold on. Let me, let me turn my camera back around so that y'all can see that. Well, or... This is the heart. Yeah, this is what I made on Nancy's last night. I did finish it. I glued all the buttons down. And y'all know. And then I'll go grab the other hat. What I did. After I got about. I got these glued down. And then I was like. Oh yeah. I was going to turn my canvas this away. So that my heart could be wider. So it could be fatter. But it didn't. Uh, that didn't register in my brain. Until I was right here. So I guess I was a little higher gluing. I think I was setting these up and I was like, oh man, because I wanted this to go out a little fatter. But at that point it was too late because I was not popping all these off and, ha and having to repaint. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did over on Little Treasures on Nancy last night. So let me put that back there. If it will stay. I just had it propped up. <laughs> Um, I'll flip y'all back around so y'all can look at the painting while I run grab that hat so I can show you what I'm talking about. There you go. Y'all can look at that. Oh, where's my... I was going to lay the welcome sign there, but it's wet paint. All right, I'll be right back. 
Let's see here. Angel says, I enjoy watching the painting. Can't wait to see the finished product. Maybe by December. <laughs> okay, so here is the uh, another one that I'm working up in the variegated. So that's, you know, same one I have on my head. I just had yarn left over, so I was making up a second one. Um, this one. So I've got this one here. This is one where I told y'all at the beginning, I, I broke it up and put a moss stitch in the center. This one would be more slouchy. And I did it so that it gathers. And I know some people don't particularly like that. So um, that's why I have two different. So if you go by what I tell you in the baby one, or you just change your stitch count to get started, you're going to get this type of top where it's got the puckering. Um, if you swap out your single crochet and with a double crochet in the increase rounds, you'll get a top that looks like that. So it just depends on which, which, um, which way you're wanting it to lay like this one I I did the increase so that it lays flat this one I did the increase so that I keeping it exactly the same so that it will give that puckered look so it's just going to be whichever you prefer so Karen says wow I like that glitter I know right it's pretty this is sparkly this is um my label fell off between here and there but this is I love this yarn this is the I love this yarn uh sparkle i think did it fall in here no it must have fell in the hallway when i was running in the hallway to get back in here i think it's sparkle but it's i love this yarn from hobby lobby so bonnie says i'll skip bros because i'll put it on a ponytail oh okay for the ponytail holes that'll work that will work that will work um, Bonnie said she was looking for a baby blue, and it's a no. I have some, well, it doesn't have sparkle in it. What I was going to use for it is, um, what is it called? It's by Lime Brand. I should have grabbed it, but it's in the other room, too, but it's fuzzy. Angel said, so cute. Thank you. Uh, Hershner's has a sale tomorrow for yarn for a dollar and up. Does anyone have a code for shipping? Ooh, I don't, but might have to Google that. See if I can find one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But yeah, Bonnie, so that's that's what I did for the it's basically the same. Um, I did the same adjustments as I as I mentioned in the baby one. If you want to alter it for an adult, but I did I did work it up a couple of different ways today just to check it out to see how it's gonna lay because I thought I should do that before Thursday night. <laughs> some things I can wing and some things I want to know before I dive into it to make sure that I don't. That I'm not showing y'all something that then I turn around and frog five times, which I did. I frogged it a lot just because I wanted to make sure I liked the way it was looking. And then I went back after I reworked it and I'm like, oh, let me see what it looks like if I just leave the stitch count alone. And that's what got the pucker. And I do like it. I like the pucker. Hold on. 
I'm going to turn my camera off for just a second because my hair is a fright. But I'll show you what it looks like with the pink. Because my hair looks a mess because I've been making these beanies all day. And I keep taking the hat off and putting it on and off and on and off and on and off and on. <laughs> so it does have this little, so it puckers up like this. So like it would be really cute with a pom-pom. But also I was going to make this one longer so that you do get the slouch, the slouchy, the slouchiness with it. So, yeah. And now my hair is poking me in the face. But I figure on Thursday I'll show y'all both. I mean, you can do whichever methods you want. But when you do this one, it's going to curl. I mean, when you get... Well, you're doing yours, you said, around the ponytail holder, right? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, because you're going to do it around the ponytail holder, so you won't have to worry about it. So yours will automatically have that puckered look anyway. But for anybody else, if you if you do it exactly like I described in the one with the baby, uh, for the baby, it will that your circle won't lay flat it's going to be curled it's going to curve and that's so that you when you finish it when you start doing the rest of it it has that puckered look so that it's pulled forward darcia said she likes the pink hat thank you i appreciate that bonnie said her hair doesn't fit in a hat or at least it's not comfortable i understand my hair has gotten really thin as of so mine is that's not a problem and if you want it to cuff, just make your single crochet section longer. So, all right, y'all. Well, we are about done here. Um, y'all can find me back here Monday night with Connie from Just Another Stitch. We will be sharing Valentine's um, patterns. I know we're a little late. Connie wasn't feeling well this past week, so we postponed our live for a week. Um, but we will be. I mean, and you you don't have to use these patterns just for Valentine's. You can make hearts any time of year. So we'll be sharing those out. And we're going to be on my channel this month. So we'll be right back here. So y'all come hang out with us. Our, our live will be Monday night at 6 Central. We generally only go for about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. But bon um, Connie has another live scheduled for later that night for her her regular uh collab lives that she does on the second tuesday or second what is that what did i say monday the second monday of the month so we will probably we'll probably keep it right to an hour so y'all come back and hang out with us if you want some uh valentine's crochet and knit patterns and i'm gonna pop out of here and i hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend i appreciate y'all for words i appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me tonight and checking out this uh paint by number kit again i do have a link to the website where this particular one came from and there's a coupon code for you to save five percent i do believe it's be creative zero five off um, but it is in the description box below after this live ends i will go back and add the link for my uh, half double crochet tutorial which is going to be the march stitch and then I'll also go ahead and add the ones for January and February, which was the moss stitch and the sedge stitch. So, yeah, I hope y'all have a fabulous, fabulous night. Let me go over here. I've missed a comment. Oh, everybody's telling each other a good night and to have a good night. And everybody, y'all do the same. Again, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And I will see y'all hopefully Monday night, if not Thursday. All right. Have a great night. Bye, everybody.